The farming and trading in herbs and spices in Kenya is on the rise thanks to the high demand in both local and international markets that has seen farmers and traders take the venture seriously than before. In our show today, we focus on chives. It's a herb that belongs to the onion family and has become a crop of choice for most farmers in the country. Chive seeds can be raised on nursery, indoors or outdoors prior to transplanting. These will of course depend on the space available in your farm as well as your financial plan. The crop is rarely attacked by pests and diseases, hence its management is quite cheap. Isn't that what everyone wants? Welcome to the show. It's yet another good day for Kilimo and Biashara show. Welcome to the show. We are in Nyandarwa County and I've heard that many farmers here have converted from growing potatoes and maize to herbs, specifically chives. Let's find out why. Ah, poa poa. Timeski yo jina ngunyi kwani nyinyi ni wakina professor. Ndio huyo mimi akina wao. Muko na nini leo? Chives, thyme, tafanya rosemary. Nataka hiyo chives sana. Oh, chives ndio hata tuna. Twende tuone hiyo chives. Yo tunafanyanga sana. Eh. Twende tuone hizo chives. Sawa sawa. Chives in a mea vizuri kwa greenhouse. Yes, sana sana inafanya kwa greenhouse. Juhi nataka iyo nini ya mwagaza, itaka agi mwagaza direct. Na nasikia mpaka smell hapa, ni kama kitungu. Hei, inanukia vizuri. So, inaitaji joto. Inaitaji joto. Hei, hili yede haraka. Tunaezenda na hapa, tunapanda. Oh, mnapanda? Hei. So, I came at a good time. Hei, you came at a good time. Tufafanya gapping. Sasa hii nini inaendelea kwa famu? Sasa hii tunafanya gapping. Kwa ukisema gapping? Gapping inamanisha tunajaza huku. Jwa tukwa tumepada venye ilikuwa inastairi. Oh, kuna gaps zenye zilivaki. Eh, kuli gaps zenye zilivaki. Wow! They typically look like onions. Eh, ni vikas. Zile ma... Eh, spring onions. Spring onions. Eh. So umesema wanafanya gapping. Gapping ni nini? Gapping ni kujaza zile spezi zenye hai kumea. Either by maji kuwa mingi, ama ikakosa maji, ama inaeza kuwa maybe tuliweka maji, ikaipereka uku shini kapotea. Hii shamba imeloa maji. Ni maji ya irrigation ama ni maji tu ya mvua o ni nini? Hii ni ya irrigation. Inatakaka maji migi kwanza wakati unatuko karibu kuivuna. Hili uwe na isimame vizuri. Juhu inakuruwa kama imesimama. And again, ifanye isiaguke sana. Tafauti ya onions na chives ni gani? Hii inakuruwa these leaves na sinakuwaga very thin and tender. Alafu tena hizi azinaga karahoit pahari. Hizi ni green zote. Yote ikiwa, yote inafika size ya 30 to 40 cm, iki yote ni green. Chives upandu wa haji? Unashukua begu, tunaipada kama seeds, tunaweka kwa parrots, tu parrots ziko, tuko na propagation unit, tunaenda tunaziweka between 15 to 30 seeds, kwa kanini kamoja, kashimo kamoja. After hapo unaipea like 3 weeks, 3 weeks itakuwa ready kupereko kwa shaba. So ukisha leta chives kwa propagation house, ulete hapa. The first thing unafanya nini? 
Oh, first thing lazima kwanza wewe umetayarisha shaba, unailima vizuri, unairevo, unakuja una line drip lines. After hapo sasa unakuja na kitugu yako au kwanza the first thing unaweka fertilizer unaimix huko na mshanga. Then sasa unakuja na kitugu yako unasipada kwa hizo mashimo za drip lines. Mm -hmm. eh, sasa unapada both sides za drip line. Mostly this is what tunatumia drip lines za 15 cm. Chives utunzwa aje ili upate mazao mazuri. Kitu ya kwanza chives haitakagi weeds. Kwanza una make sure weed ikipata unakuja unangoa. Another thing hii inapendwa sana na drips kwa hivyo you have to lazima ukuje ukifanya crop walk every day. Every day lazima uige kwa kila greenhouse ukiangalia venye inaka. Mostly kwa hii unye ujia venye inapenda maji sana na hiyo maji inaleta down mild mm -hmm. which means lazima uiangalie kabisa. Inataka trappers mm -hmm. eh, uweke trappers kila pahari. Mm -hmm. eh, either blue ama yellow ama unaweza weka zote mbili. Unafanya nini kukinga haya magonjwa? Ukiona ishaanza kuinvestiwa unakuja unafanya spray. Wakulima wengine huwa wako na mitindo ya kunyunyizia dawa uh, mimea zao kwa wakati fulani. Hii kuna wakati wake wa kuspray ama ni ya magonjwa tu? Hakuna spring pattern. Once ukiletify ugonjwa unakuja una spray dawa yako. Chives inapandwa tu kwa greenhouse ama inaweza pandwa pia nje? Inataka greenhouse. E, greenhouse inafanya vizuri. Inze lazima kwanza uweke moshe juu ukiweka direct hivyo once kumenyesha maji ita splash itapata ushafu. Kwa hivyo chives ni vizuri ina perform vizuri kipandwa kwa greenhouse. One thing kwa greenhouse ukiweka greenhouse greenhouse ina fanya pests ingia juu kutoka na insect nets uko nje drips inaweza kuwa mingi kitu kingine ni once umeiweka nje itapata dust e, na inatakika na kitu cream ukisema mulching unamaanisha nini mulching ni kuweka karatasi ina we yenye hata mvua ikinyesha hakuna nini itatoka nje hakuna mshaga ita splash ita splash ya kitu gumu kama mtu anataka kuanzisha hii biashara ya kupanda chives eh? Mahitaji ni nini? First thing ni zinataka maji sana which means you have to have drip lines. Greenhouse. Another thing uwe kabisa umeamua kujitoa kufanya kasi kabisa. Inataka ufanye kasi kabisa. Eh, uwe na manpower. Eh, watu wengi wa kufanya kazi. Eh, inahitaji manpower kweli kama. Eh, niko na wengi. Watu wako naona bado wanaendelea kugapa. Twende tuwasaidie. Ukinionyesha kupanda sio? Okay, tunaweza enda. Ah, ah, ya tuenda. Okay. Ninaona hata kuna zenye ziko hapa. Okay. Hizi ni za kugap pia? Eh, hizi ndizo tunagap nazo. Ah, hebu nikupatilishie ndio unionyesha vizuri. Okay. Kitu ya kwanza hapa ni nini? Kitu ya kwanza una sprite, unatoa ya kwanza, unaweza mm -hmm. shika. Ya pili, unaweza mm -hmm. shika. Oh, na tatu. Yeah. Na ni mingi. First thing tunajaza huko. Oh, is it gaps? Tunilidani ni spacing yake. Hapana ni gaps hizo. Unafanya hivi. Huku utaka hii na fasi? Eh. Si itaji nataka zishikana kabisa. Kadogo. Eh. Okay. Then unaipanda. Unaizika visuri. Saa hiyo hiko sawa. Wacha nipande zingine hapa. Okay. Nipande hapa. Awe, panda hapo. So venye tumepanda hivi, uh -huh. tutavuna after how long? Tutafuna for only after 28 days. 28 days? Yeah. Isa ni kidogo sana? Yeah, inakaga mwezi moja. Ah, yeah. so unatupeleka section ingine? Sasa nataka ni kupeleke section yenye iko, yenye iko katikati, oh. mid level. Ah, yeah. tupeleke yo mid level. Okay. Na nona mvua isha anza kuanguka huku kwenye? Yeah. Huku inanyashaka kila siku. <laughs> hey. yeah. Yeah. Hii ulisema ni level gani? Hii ni wow. mid-level. This is all grown. Eh. 
mid level yeah. mm. so it's gonna 21 days it's gonna 21 days yeah. eh? so it's gonna few days kabla i harvest you eh? yeah. like mm. one week even eh. so are these level management yeah. practices ni gani sasa hapa yeah, ni kutoa two weeds mm-hmm. na kukuja wagarie kwa those traps iko na any pest oh ukiona okay, utajua venye utafanya nayo so ni 21 days haina so, mahitaji mingi haina mahitaji mingi mm-hmm. sana ni kuja kuiangalia venye inaendelea yeah na hii ni aina gani ya chives inaitagwa porista au oh, polista eh yeah. kuna porista ni kuna naomi na improved prey kati ya hizo tatu zenye umesema tofauti ni gani customer anapedaga naomi ji kuna kara dark dark green kara na gani kuna mazao mazuri kati ya hizo tatu fara yote yenye inaitwa naomi eh uh-huh. hiyo dia inaenda sana kulingana hizi kulingana soko yetu zote ni za kuuza katika nchi za kigeni e, zote nafanyaga za export uh-huh. e, kuna za local market uh-huh. e. na soko ya chives iko aje okay, soko ya Kenya ya chives uh-huh. hapa iko sawa sisi alija ikuwa na kuja ikuwa na off season kila wakati ni kuuza kuuza kwa kilo mnauza shilingi ngapi 500 per kilo. Kwa siku moja mnaweza vuna kilo ngapi? One day tunafanyaga around 200 kilos na tunafanya dry, dry per week. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yeah. Oh, ni kilo mingi? Eh, kilo 600. We are going to meet our agronomist. Let's see what he has for us today. Sanui. Yes, Linda. Nyeje. Yeah, Kwa jambo. The farm is beautiful. Thanks so much. Thanks. What? Ume manage aje. Sika zungumu Linda. Mhm. It's just kujitolea. Uh-huh. Pure dedication uh-huh. and they love your job. It is so green. How have you managed to maintain this color? Ukilo hii mmea vile kwa namna hii, a lot has been done because we have uh, three phases to go through. Crop husbandry, we have a uh, crop management which is a uh, crop protection and then crop nutrition. So the color you are seeing can tell you that the crop is full of nitrogen. So something like urea you do it and then you can go green the same same way hajakulua na thrips. You started with crop husbandry. What does that mean? Ukisha panda mea from the word go. Make sure kwanza haina weeds to compete nayo. Ivi kwamba kama umuku ume target ipate 2 grams per crop, itapata exactly 2 grams per crop. So there is no competition between the crop and the and the weeds. Yes. So you can make sure kila mahali ambapo umepanda hiyo mmea pawe pa safi from the initial stage. Yeah. The first one was crop husbandry, the second one is management. Take us through management practices. That management comes in because now you need to create a, a candid spray program for the same same crop. Because a class ya onions kama hizi chives eh, zinapendwa na thrips. So ukiona kama mmea kama hii kama hangi kuwe na pigo dawa against strips, unge expect the queer white, not the uh, the way they are green. So you spray before you identify the the pest or what? Uh one we have two mode of controlling the crop. Two kuna both the uh, preventive and curative. But whenever we nafanya any spray hata kama haujaona una pre preventive na chemical ambayo ni systemic. Systemic means unaichapa inakaa kwa system ya mmea. 
sasa kuna ile contact ambayo unapiga kushawa na mdudu mwenyewe akiwa kwenye mea so for a farmer who is intending to venture into chives farming what are the preventive measures that they should adhere to uh, ukisha panda because uh, hauko sure kwanza mchanga ulikuwa na shida gani you do what we call drenching kuna dawa kama kina iprodion hizo zina act against bacterial wilt against the uh, onion blotch alafu nao at a certain stage ju e crop may talk for another tender incubation area ambayo ni propagation kuna magonjwa kama downy mildew magonjwa kama kina uh, uh, botrytis so you spray chemicals kama ridomel ambayo ni metalaxyl zikiwa na mancozeb that is now the, the first week so in that regard either kuwe na change of climate ama kutokuwa na change of climate tayari ushapatia mmei kuwa na immunity second phase asa ndio mmei anaweza kupata kuwa na very strong aroma ya kuvutia wale thrips now is pre systemic preventive against the thrips dawa kama kina cetamiprid ambayo ni mosplan kuja dawa kama kina tresa which is spinosad and then at the same same time uh, kuna dawa za kupiga huyu mdudu akose appetite ya kufeed na huyu mmea we call them antifidants if i go to the market today how can i identify a nice bunch of chives the only person who can be genuine to you ni mkulima mwenyewe because mimi mwenyewe kama agronomist nikichuna size hizi chives ni kuambie hii imepiga dawa hii haijapigwa sitaweza unless ipitie laboratory ya kefis ipimwe ifanye utathmini tuje kama iko na dawa ama haina dawa lakini yale ya sokoni pale marikiti hapo ukipata imeanikwa pale unakula tu kwa risk this greenhouse it's quite green but the first one that we went to they had some yellow does this mean there is a deficit of a particular thing do you see this crop vile iko iko ready for harvest lakini sio maana iko green so yellowing iko na mambo mbili kuna mmea ambaye ilivunwa na ikafanywa poor healing and we call it curing after harvesting because immediately ukisha harvest hiyo mmea kuna maji ambayo huwa yanatokea pale juu hiyo maji inavuta watu call botrytis so unless you spray immediately after harvesting ndio ipate proper curing two yaweza kuwa kuna down mildew because science ya down mildew mmea na kuwa yellow so ukipata kiwa na yelo either ilikuwa ni poor curing at the same same time imeachiliwa haikupiwa uh, dawa on the right time this greenhouse has been lodged with a lot of water in the soil is it from the drip irrigation or you have additional water okay what happens mm. you region ambayo tuko the water tables ziko very juu ziko juu sana plus e soil iko na low drainage but with high capillarity so uwezo wa maji kupanda juu ni haraka sana kuliko maji kuteremka chini chini plus na tuko within the tables of the mountains so obvious okay we was like now we see he may want to eco dry lakini paths ziko na maji so table ya hii area iko juu sana is it important to use particularly drip irrigation while you're growing chives you also look at uh, conservation ya electricity na pia water loss na pia the, the amount of work to be done ukitumia sprinkler head na the damage you will cause to the crop So the reason is when a particular sprinkler any uh, drip irrigation kwa hiyo mmea kuna hiyo target ambayo inafaa ku, kupata hiyo mmea that crop should get uh, 0.5 liters per crop per day so you cannot be able to quantify with the sprinkler but hiyo hiyo drip ambayo umeuziwa hizo emitters ziko na standard ya kutoa hiyo maji within that specific time so drip line is advised however a certain level a crop like now uh, pulp imetoka pale pre harvesting stage eh? lazima uweke sprinkler juu reason being thrips na maji ni adui kabisa so uki, ukifanya showering una suppress their breeding i've noticed also the yellow and the blue traps what are they for yellow na na blue basically kama yellow sana sana mostly utumika kwa kwa identify the threshold ya white flies kwa hiyo nyumba huwa ina attract white flies wengi one itakusaidia ujue per square meter when the that side this side na that na this na this side ili uweze kujua by just seeing physically should i do uh, biological control kwa hii mea ama should i do a complete spray kwa kuangalia idadi ya dudu ambayo yako pale here blue ina control thrips na na aphids so, yeah the flying insects so by having these stations this way you can be able to identify uh, which kind of spray you will recommend for that crop tell me how do you ensure to get maximum productivity especially in such a area you need to improve what you call soil profile that you only acquire that by applying manure compost manure ambayo fully decomposed 
So lima shamba vizuri, rudia mara pili, you make it more porous and more aerated. Weka maniwa and then mix the manure with the soil. Then from there now, you come and uh, irrigate the beds before you plant. Hii toka saidia kesho kipanda, in case kama ulikuwa na risk ya stima ipotee, hii hiyo bed tayari ulikuwa shamweka maji ya kutosha. And then now make sure per square meter you have 80 plugs. Earlier on when we were planting with a farmer, he told me that you have to plant a bunch of around 15 to 30. Will it compete for food? Chives ni mmea ambayo inexpand. Na the standard ya kupanda chives, M30 to M30 it should be 10 cm. Ni zile tu kwa soko size zipatikane zote plants. It should be 10 cm from plug to plug. So, kupanda 15 to 30 in the future, that is after two good years, tunafanywa uh, kuruiso kufanywa what we call splitting. Unangwa ule chives, unam split mara tatu, palaka ni mbaingine. So you are now getting another crop from the same same mother crop. Aside from polyester and the two that you mentioned, which one performs better? Naomi, Naomi does well. It has uh, thick tubes. It has a good chlorophyll. Just the other day we were in Kieni, a very dry area. They plant uh, bulb onions. And it's the same family as chives. They are all in the onion family. What are the favorable temperature conditions? Despite chives being the family uh, of onions, uh, we have spring onions, we have bulb onions. So this one, we basically take the, veg the, veg uh, the vegetable part of it, the leaves, you, you get it. Huh? So. Chives, the best place you can do chives, it should be above 2200 meters uh, above the sea level. So cane is dry and low-lying place. So for the bulbing onions, you should be giving it uh, well-drained soil and then a warmer air because of purposes of forming the bulbs. So you cannot compare the bulb onions and these one at the same, same time. You've told me so much about chives, but what are the nutritional value of this crop? Chives? It has two major importance. One, it has a content of vitamin C and then two content of magnesium. Vitamin C, especially in this uh, trend of COVID-19, gives us to build that stamina of immunity, resistance, and then uh, additional uh, content of uh, blood cells in the body. Two, the magnesium helps us to have that strong connection of nerves in the body. So things like arthritis and, uh, and the salt, when we have magnesium in the body, we are sorted out things in our mobile nerves. And aside from the nutrition, now what are other benefits when you're growing chives? You are creating job opportunities. One, yourself, you're self employed. Two, the people within you benefit from you. Another thing also, uh, value addition to the entire country because now when you export, uh, the exporter pays taxes to the country. How are the market dynamics for this crop? Uh, I normally say, okay, the way I, I advise any other person who wants to do chives. One, you need to know that uh, you are growing chives, but you want to sell to who? We have UK, uh, other people sent to Russia, which is Moscow. People sent to Middle East, Bahrain. Others sent to uh, Amsterdam, Netherlands. But the major consumers of these chives talk about Netherlands and the UK. So uh, when you talk around those people, and also the Asian people, they eat a lot of chives. Local market. I can say it's too big. The only problem uh, with the local market is so fragile because now you're dealing with someone who wants to sell abroad. So let, let's talk about uh, the broker language in, in short. Somebody wants to buy from you at a throwaway price because now they buy at uh, 450 per kg. That is not the local market. They will sell at almost 7.8 euro abroad. So you find that the local market is, it is huge, but now whoever is buying from you, buying at a low price, at the same, same time, you stand a risk of losing your money because there is no that candid uh, contract between you and the buyer. It's so slippery business. Thank you so much, Tanui. That has been quite insightful. You're most welcome, Linda. Thanks again. And then I'm so much humbled to host you today. Thank you. You've heard it from Tanui. Not just the nutritional bit where it's a substitute of vitamin C, but there is a huge gap in the market. You can as well fill this gap, venture into tribes farming. 
My name is Linda Koskei. Thank you so much for watching the show. Till next time.